Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So this is number five in the Visual Studio extension series that I've been doing on this channel. Uh, this extension that I wanna to show today is called Theme Switcher, and let's go take a look at it. So this extension basically allows you to quick toggle themes in your Visual Studio. Um, well, let me make myself a little bit smaller so we can see what's going on. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is go and navigate to the manage extension windows, and I'm gonna show you how to get there. So go to extensions, manage extensions, and then when this loads up, make sure you're on the online tab and go ahead and type in theme switcher. And then it's gonna be the second one, or at least it is for me, um, made by a guy named Mads Christensen, and he makes a lot of extensions if you're not familiar with him already, and he makes really quality stuff. Uh, so go ahead and download this, restart your Visual Studio and then come back once you've installed this. So assuming you've already have this installed, go ahead and close this window. And what this extension does, it's really cool. Basically, Visual Studio comes with themes basically right out of the box. Um, but you, in order to get to them, it's kind of buried in a bunch of settings. So this extension adds under the Tools tab, this themes option right here to basically quick toggle um, themes. So right now I'm on like the the blue extra contrast theme. And if I wanna switch to dark mode, which is what I normally use, cause it's just way, way easier on your eyes, uh, it's as simple as that. So again, you go to tools, themes, and you have them all right here. Um, I've downloaded a couple, like I downloaded this Marvel theme one. So I guess it's gonna be like Captain Marvel themed. I guess I, it, I guess it changes some of the fonts of it, but I don't really see that much of a difference. It's okay. Let's try another one out. Let's go to themes. I downloaded Night Owl. Um, that one, man, that one's okay. I, it's, I think it's a little blue. I don't, I don't know. It feels kind of weird. Uh, but if you don't already know, you can download custom themes if you go to the extensions again, um, and you just type in themes or theme, whatever you want to type in. Uh, there's a whole bunch of themes, so you can download like a whole bunch of them, like purple theme, Nordisk theme, which I guess is a Nordic theme, that's that's neat. Tan theme, red theme. So there's a whole host of them you can download, and then I think you do. Ha do you have to restart when you download them? Let's take a look. Let's download this Nordisk theme. Yeah, you do. Okay, so you still have to restart. Um, but yeah, you can go through and, and find a theme that works for you. Typically, typically I just operate in the uh, the dark theme, which is comes out of the box in Visual Studio. But I might use that kind of blue tinted theme, but I don't know. We'll see. Let me make myself a little bit bigger now. Uh, so that's it for the video. Uh, I thought this was really cool because I don't really I don't change the color of my Visual Studio a lot. Like I've toggled some things on my work computer. I think I've changed like some of the syntax highlighting and, and basic things like that. Um, but sometimes when you're programming, you just like you just like to have a little change of scenery in, in terms of your environment and stuff. So being able to quick toggle a theme, maybe like towards, you know, in the morning, if you're like more, if your eyes are more sensitive to light, you can toggle it to like a dark mode in the afternoon, you can put it as more of like higher contrast mode or something like that. Um, but this makes it easy. And again, I, I think if you change extensions or sorry, not extensions, themes, it's kind of nested in a bunch of settings. Um, so this just makes it a lot easier to, to get to. So if you haven't experimented with themes and you want to see what you like, uh, go check it out. They're super easy to download. And from what I've seen, there's a lot of them. And if you don't know, you can, you don't have to just go by a theme. You can change any color of pretty much anything you want in Visual Studio if you dig into the customized settings. It's pretty, you can get pretty elaborate, but just take, kind of take it with a grain of salt because I feel like some of the syntax highlighting that comes out of the box is pretty helpful. And once you start messing with that, if somebody else looks at your code who's not familiar with your <laughs> with your crazy color settings, it, it might throw you off just because you're not used to seeing that. So just, just keep that in mind if you ever um, decide to do any kind of pair programming or you share your screen and, and share your code. Sometimes over customization of the environment could actually do you a little bit of a disservice in the future. So just bear that in mind when you change themes. But anyway, that's my uh, extension I want to share. Again, I'm, I'm going to have a ton of these videos coming out. I keep finding really cool extensions that I want to share with you all. Um, so if, again, if you have any suggestions or any extensions that you've seen, uh, let me know in the comments. I'd love to um, try them out, read about them, and, or maybe make a video about the suggestions that you put up. So anyway, thank you so much for watching the video. Thank you for checking out my channel. I really appreciate it. Have a good one, everybody.